You want to get a skin in Minecraft Java Edition. Let's go ahead and do it. Now, first things first, you're obviously going to need to download a Minecraft skin in the description. The second link down below is the link to here. This is the skin decks, and it has millions of Minecraft skins for you to search and choose from. I'm going to go ahead and search up here at the top for a knight skin. That's what I always use for these, because why not? And then you want to find the knight that you like. I actually really like this winter knight skin here. Could be any of these. And by the way, I use a knight skin. It, you can search for anything on here. Let's say you wanted to search for a queen skin. There are tons of different options here. Some of them are, of course, better than others. And uh, this isn't the only way to get a skin. You can also make your own Minecraft skin. We have a link in the description down below with a video guide and a text guide on how to do exactly that. Make your very own custom Minecraft skin. You can even take an existing skin, like let's say this night skin here. I didn't like it. I wanted to make some changes. I could take this and make those changes using this guide here. But nevertheless, once you've found the skin that you want, you can click download on the right hand side here. It might take you off to like a pop up like that. Go ahead and click download again and the download will begin. Now, you may need to keep or save the download, but that's not too common. Make sure it is a .png file or a .jpg file. Usually it's going to be a .png file and you're safe to keep it. You're good to go there. And let's go ahead and minimize our browser. And what we want to do is open up the Minecraft launcher because all of your skins are now managed in the Minecraft launcher. While this is opening, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH. Start your very own 24 hour DDoS predicted Minecraft server so you can play Minecraft with your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, mod packs, or play vanilla Minecraft. The options are up to you. And if you do have any issues along the way, we have amazing live chat support and a high quality knowledge base. So go check out Simba Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz slash sgh to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, here we are on the Minecraft launcher. We can go ahead and click on skins up here at the top and we will be able to see all of the Minecraft skins we have installed. Like I said, you don't have to go to Mojang or anything like that. What's really cool is you can easily add in multiple skins and switch between them. So nevertheless, we have our default skins here, and you can select these by just hovering over them and clicking Use. But if you want to add a custom skin, we need to go ahead and click the plus new skin here. You can name the skin whatever you want. I'm going to name it Simple Game Hosting because that's the easiest way to host a Minecraft server for you and your friends. And then once you've got that name in there, you can name it anything you want. Choose your player model. Do you want the slim or wide player model? It's up to you. I'm going to go with wide. And then we want to go ahead and click our skin file here by clicking Browse. Then navigate to the skin file you downloaded. Most likely that's going to be in the download section, which can be found in this PC and downloads, and you'll find your skin in here. Go ahead and double click on it and it will be taken into Minecraft where you can preview the skin on your character. Looking good. If you've got a cape, you can select it here as well and then click save and use in the bottom right. By clicking save and use, it's automatically active, but if you just click save, you will need to hover over the skin and click use to activate it. So there you go. Now your skin is active and if you jump in game, we will be able to see by hitting F5 on our keyboard or FN and F5 if you don't have F5 keys that our skin is now active. Look at that. It is that easy to add your own skin. And what's great is for me, for example, I don't want to run this skin forever. I just wanted to try it out, see how it looked. Maybe you didn't like the skin that you installed. You liked the one you had previously better. Well, that's what's so amazing about this new skin management system. You don't have to worry about keeping your skin on your computer or anything like that. I would keep a backup of your most favorite skins because sometimes Mojang uh, will remove these, but generally keeping a backup on your system isn't required. They're all in here. So you can hover over this and click use and boom. Now my skin that I've used for, well, a decade is now active and we can jump in game and be good to go. So with that being said, that is how you can add your very own skin to Minecraft 1.20.2. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. We hope this video helped you out. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.